This is interesting information coming in off of New York. We were seeing nothing coming in from New York uh, all of the evening until all of a sudden we have 99% posted uh, in the governor's race for New York. And you see all the blue that's, that's there, all the statements that are there. But look at the red. The red is Zeldin. But look at when I scroll over what it shows. It shows Zeldin at 63.1% with 34,311. It's very important to pay attention to that because when I move into the next one, well, it's not that one. I move into this one, same amount, 63.1% at 34,311. Oh, same thing in this one. Oh, same thing in that one. Oh, same thing in that one. Same thing there. Same numbers there. Identically, 34,311 votes. 63.1% polling in all but one of the districts. Look at that, same thing there, even in the little, little bitty ones. So 34, exactly 34,311 people voting in each one of these counties exactly, identically. Now, you would say, okay, so the numbers are fake for Zeldin. Well, let's look at Holcomb's. 113, 228. That one's different, that one's different. 113, 228. Same thing. Oh, the 73, by the way, matches the one up here. 73, 693. 73, 693. 73, 693. 73, 693. The 145 will be repeated too. 145, 415. Where is it? Where's the other one? The next one. Oh, there's the 113. Yeah, 145, 415. 145, 73, 693. You notice the patterns. These districts are using the same exact number of votes with the exact same percentages duplicated over and over again for either person. There's nothing real about that. That is copy and pasted data to fill in the gap where they had no